right, so we're gonna start this bad boy back up. This is uh, our Dima Braun V12 60 degree motor. And this was just recently put back together after it had a little issue at Bonneville. So it's got 12 new pistons and everything's been run back through, new bearings, new rings. And so Kevin is going to go ahead and start that up here in just a minute. So for plumbing it with the city water, there's your uh, return line. So there's Pete, and we're going to fire this bad boy up. Kevin's gonna go ahead and hot wire this and validate that all this hard work and rebuild is uh, worked out properly. Fuel pump sounds a little louder. Who's the Audi? Oh, that's it. Zorn. Shouldn't wobble now, huh? So, Pete, what's the plan now? I mean, uh, to run this in November. Out of El Mirage. And then we'd like to run it at Barnum next year. Um, nothing goes wrong between now and then. All right. Um, we we had it in August, but we gave it up, right? In the broken piston. Yeah. So are the new pistons are improved a little bit, a little more thickness on the head of the bit, piston. Just a little bit, but that wasn't the problem. It just was our fault. Just a lean lean condition. Yeah. So you're gonna... And I was thinking, you know, when this thing's going 250 miles an hour, it's going that way, right? 
there's an air scoop up here about like that. I don't know how much air is getting, you know. It's, it's going to the back. Yeah, but it's just getting more air and making it run lean. It could make it run lean back here. Yeah, it could. Because those are two Not pistons. the front ones, but the rear ones. Yeah, where well, it compresses. Those, yeah, those two are. Uh, so could I throw an equation in there? Sure, sure. Remember we kept having the canopy problem? It would pop open. Yeah, right. You think that could have scooped air over the scoop? Well, no, there's a scoop up here. Yeah. And at 250, there's quite a bit of pressure going in. in okay. There. And it's all going back here. So if, if this, if these cylinders get more air than this one, then it's yeah, running lean. You could lean. put a little relief back here. Yeah, I was thinking about that. But the relief, oh, because it's sealed along the box, right? You yeah. have the box, right. so you could just right. have a, a relief here, so it would just. Well, it would go out. Out the back of the Either tail. Or you can just rich with the program. You can richen up these two cylinders, which would probably be better. Tell Kevin to work on that instead of watching. Can you richen up individual cylinders? Yeah. Really? The program will do about anything you can think of. Wow. Yeah. Well, he did have on right now a hundred degree temperature difference on that on that rear cylinder. Oh yeah. Well, that's. That, but, that all evens out, I'm sure, once it gets to five grand. Yeah. Well, you mean the temperature exhaust? Yeah. yeah. We need O2 sensors, really. Yeah. On each pipe. Well, and not O2, not thermal couples in yeah, each right. one. That'll that'll help you solve the problem. Not so much the O2 sensors, but wow, O2 sensors in every one would be good. Uh, thermal you couples. Spring for one of those outfits. We just got two new ones coming for this. I know. You got they're for this. Yeah. We have these. We just, just we need, to, we need to start throwing away the ones you don't think are good. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in the drawer in there and you can't tell. Uh can't think of the name. They got they got a box that'll give you all you can put O2 sensors on each pipe if you want it. Or thermal couples, that'd be cheaper. You just connect that again. I don't know what 250 miles an hour down the track does to this cylinder versus this cylinder. It shortens your reaction time. <laughs> but essentially, are you kind of saying that it's almost like providing boost to a couple yeah, cylinders where right. it's not provided because you're, you're forced air, ram air induction. Exactly. But a couple of the cylinders may not be getting any forced air. Some are getting atmospheric, well, and some are getting forced you air. You could baffle that thing inside somewhat, too, if you want to. Put a baffle right here, I guess. Yeah. But that would be hard to figure but out. That, that, you can't test it, even on the dyno, because you don't have the airflow. Right. You know, that would take a little bit of work. Well, that, that Royal Purple car, he had an intake that was about that big. Uh huh. A Lakester. This is a 300 mile Lakester. Yeah. And some guy told me you got to figure out how much this air this uses. Oh, Smokey used to make that. 6,000 RPM or 8,000 yeah. RPM. Yeah. So you need to figure you out the CFM. No, no, no. I yeah, got, I got a minute. Yeah. yeah. This one cost Cubic me like 18 bucks. Yeah. And then you need to know how much air can go through how big a hole at 250 yeah. miles an hour. Uh huh. It works pretty well. CFM. Right? Yeah. And those should match. The problem is that when you're trying to accelerate, you don't have enough air. Yeah. Because you're only going 100, right? That's when you get up to the top end, that's when it'll change yeah, this, so right? So you almost need, you need a gate that'll open. According to the speed or the throttle was, input, right? Yeah. They, even the and then when you get to full speed, it closes. Like and you get a, a constant. The other way to do it is just block it off. Yeah, just let it, it run off like, atmosphere. No, it's, it's just missing. So block it off and just have like a louvered intake or something like that? Or just let it pull from inside the... Well, you know, the Camaro did pull off the back. And they started firing. Yeah. And they, they leaned the... it out and they started firing. Yeah. So you could put your scoop the other way. When the throttles are closed. Right. Yeah. You could run it backwards. Right. And then or it just... Or like Alan said, put a relief in there so it can't build up back some pressure here. And that would be easy. You just cut the box, right? And let it come out? Well, this is all above the cowl, right? Yeah. The box is above the cowl. So you cut a round hole in, the, in here and not rely on trying to pick up any boost. Yeah, just rely on atmospheric pressure, right. having it equalized. Because we ran it at El Mirage, Scotty ran it 250 miles an hour yeah. with that scoop on. Then we ran it at Bonneville at 280 with that scoop on it. And these two cylinders were the ones that ran lean. 